Hey guys, welcome back. So this is going to be part two of a two-part, obviously Chelsea, haul updates from last year's Sephora Spring VIB sale haul. I did a huge haul last year. And so I will link both of those videos down below for you to reference, as well as part one of the this haul updates two-part situation. So let's get into part two. Okay, so the first thing I have on my list here for part two is the Bumble and Bubble, Bumble and Bumble, <laughs> Dry Spun Hairspray. Okay, so I bought that a recommendation, however, it did nothing for my hair. Like, dry spun, it pretty much just shot out air. It didn't hold my hair, it didn't do anything other than smell good and spray. Like, I did not understand that hair. It was expensive, it was like $30, so you bet your bottom dollar I brought that back. Um, <laughs> just didn't work for me. Like. Mm -mm. Um, the next thing I have is the for Sephora Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover. That didn't want me either. I brought that back. Um, it actually kind of burned my eyes when I went to take off my makeup remover, which doesn't surprise me because most eye makeup removers burn my eyes, with the exception of these Kirkland makeup wipes. Those don't burn my eyes. Um, it didn't wow me. I bought the big one, and it really, I had to like use a couple different cotton rounds to get my mascara off, and I'm like, if I have to work this hard, I'm bringing you back. So I brought that back as well. Um, the Bumble and Bumble Preta Powder is the next thing that I have on my list. And I do like this. So this is essentially... Okay, so when you're teasing your hair, you can put this kind of product in at your roots and it's going to give you tons of volume. And it does. A little of this goes a very long way. Um, it's also a dry shampoo. I don't use this as a dry shampoo. I'm not... I don't have oily hair. I mean, I can wash my hair twice a week and it's still not even dirty. I kid you not. Um, I used to have a lot more oils in my hair, but between getting older and living in a dry climate, I just don't have dry, I just don't have dry hair. I don't have issues with oily hair. Um, but I specifically use this to get the volume and this gives some serious volume. Like I have some more inexpensive ones, but this gives some serious volume to your hair. A little goes a long way. You, It has a, like two little holes here and you just kind of tip this upside down and, you know, pick your hair up, tease it, drop this in, like, this will hold volume for days until you wash it. I mean, it's, it's amazing. So this stuff is good. Um, next is the Bumble and Bumble Surf Infusion. Um, this is a salt spray. I can't figure out how to use this right. I'm trying. So in the summer, it's not humid here. So I don't have issues with like needing to have like sea salt blown hair because that doesn't happen where I live right now. Um, but maybe in the future, this is a spray. I think you're supposed to spray it in your hair. You can do it like when it's wet and you can do it after you curl your hair and then spray this and just kind of scrunch it to get that like sea salty spray look. That's what I was hoping to do with it. Someone help me. I don't, I don't know. I'm not a hair person. So I don't really have too much of an opinion on this because quite frankly, you can see I've used some. I just don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, smells great. That's all I can tell you about that. Okay, the next thing is the Sephora Blush Contour Brush number 74. I bought this by accident. I fully intended on buying, I don't even know what brush it was, a different one. And that brush somehow ended up in my basket. I brought it home, I hauled it, and then afterwards I thought, you know what? I don't think this is the brush I was intending to purchase. So I brought that back because I didn't need that brush. Um, it wasn't what I was looking for. Next is Laura Mercier's Ritual which I did not grab because it's shaped just like this one where it's in here. Now, this was limited edition once upon a time. Now it is not. This is like a bronzer and blush in one. I pretty much just use it for bronzer because mine, they're all, they're marbled slightly differently. As you can see, mine doesn't have a lot of pink in it, so it's pretty much just a bronzer. It's really nice in the summer, though, if you just want to do like a bronzy look and just carry it onto your tops of your cheekbones. It has a bit of a sheen to it. It is really nice. Um, I'm not like wowed by it. I'm not like go run out and buy this. Um, it's nice to have. Mine just doesn't have a lot of pink in it, so it's more like just a bronzer. I don't know, I'm not wowed by it. I don't think you need it. 
it's nice, but I don't think you need it. Um, it's pretty on the skin though. It is, but it's not like a go-to for me. Let's see. Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. I wore this all last summer. I do enjoy this. I wish I would have bought a little bit different shade. This is the shade Cashew Beige, which works when I'm completely dark and self-tanned. Obviously, it's not going to work for me otherwise because it's very yellow undertoned, which I'm not. I'm very neutral in, in that fair category. Um, here it is right here. Very nice, glowy, full coverage, long-lasting but doesn't look dry and cakey foundation, very luminous finish. That's it right there. I do really enjoy it. I wore it all last summer. It is a nice foundation. I would definitely recommend trying it out. There's two kinds. This is the Silk Cream Oil Free Photo Edition. There is a moisturizing one. Now, I have not tried the moisturizing one. Um, I get kind of glowy with this, so I can't imagine getting one that purposely makes you glowy. Because then I'd be way too glowy. This is great, though. Um, next, we have the Paracone MD No Bronzer Bronzer. I've actually been using this a lot lately because I've been really into cream products because my skin's kind of dry or whatever. So this is the No Bronzer Bronzer. I actually really like this. It works well. I, I take the dropper, put it on the back of my hand, take my beauty blender and just kind of dab it where I want and blend it in that way. You could use this to mix in with a foundation to darken it if you needed to. It's just a really great natural looking bronzer. The application's a little bit trickier to work with. The fact that it's a liquid is a little bit messier. If you're going to do a cream bronzer, I would probably recommend that Chanel one over this one just because this is like a cream in a pot. It's not going to drip out. Easy to work with. Dries to a powder. Um, this doesn't, this dries to a powder too. This is not dry dewy. This dries down. Actually, no, it dries down like completely down. Like it's not glowy or anything. It's just like matte. So I like them both, but this is easier to work with the Chanel one. Um, alright, next we have a couple things that I bought. It was a new new brand to Sephora, the Surratt Eyeshadow and Blushes. They're new to Sephora at the time, so I bought a few to try. And I gotta tell you, totally not impressed with the packaging, which they come loose. Like, in this cheapy little plastic thing. And you almost have to, like, depot them to put them into something. Or buy the compacts separate, which were made no sense because they were kind of, it's kind of a spendier brand anyway. So I bought one eyeshadow in the shade Patine, which was like a taupey color. Used it a few times, just not impressed. Like it was expensive, it's like this luxury brand. And I was, I'm like, I don't get it. I just didn't get it. So I brought the eyeshadow and the blushes back. I wore the blushes a few times. They just, I mean, I got drugstore blushes that blew those out of the water. So I didn't, I didn't like them. I bought them to try, I tried, I didn't like them, so they went back. Um, next is Hourglass Bronzer. Love this bronzer. Oh my gosh, I love this. this is, I bought the shade Luminous Bronze Light. There's a darker one, which is called Radiant. It is like a smidgen darker. It's really not like that much darker. But if you're darker than me, you might want to go with the darker one. But this is the Luminous one. Beautiful, beautiful bronzer. Blends, glowy, so soft, so natural looking, so pretty. Love this bronzer. Love it. I mean, it's buildable. It's not too, I don't know, it's just so pretty. It looks kind of orange there, but it's not when you blend it out. It's just really easy to work with. Love it. Um, Make a Forever Lip Liner in the shade 2C. Love it. I should have put this in my lip liners I can't live without video, but I quite frankly forgot about it because I'd already put it in this basket to make this video. This lip liner is great. These are waterproof. They last really nicely on the lips. This color is perfect for spring and summer. This actually would pair really well with the Marc Jacobs lipstick that I was talking about earlier in part one, the number 150 Eat Cake. That would pair perfectly with that. Love the Makeup Forever lip liners. You can't go wrong with them. They're great. Um, next, we have the Laura Mercier Baked Eyeshadow in the shade Smoky Topaz. That was an impulse buy. I was in the store during the sale, like the third time, and she put it on me, and I just bought it because I liked it, but then I got it home, and I'm like, you know what, this is not unique. It was just like a gray taupe color, um, and it just, I don't know, it didn't wow me. I didn't love it, so I parted ways with that. Um, if you're going to buy one of her um, baked eyeshadows, go for, let me grab it. She has several shades, and there are some pretty ones. Where is it here? But go for this one. This is Black Carrot. These you can use wet or dry. This one is unique. This one is pretty, and you can do a one eyeshadow look with this. The one I bought in return, the Smoky Topaz, 
no, definitely not a must have. And the last things that I bought were the Sephora cream lip stains. Now everybody was loving those. I don't like those. And I know now why I don't like them because I've had other products in the lip stain, long wear, liquid lipstick category that are that same whippy formula that don't work for me. First of all, they don't stay. Second of all, they bunched up on my lips. They enhanced every single dry, speck of dry skin on my lips. Um, I would put one on, drink something, and it would come off in the center and I'd have that white hole looking thing that does not look good. I don't like but whole lips. And I just, I couldn't deal with them. And I think I bought like three or four of them. So I brought those back because, no. Pretty colors, yes. But the formula did not work for me. So I brought those back. So I think that is everything as far as my haul updates is concerned. Um, I might have some more, I have some more haul updates coming because I did buy, um, I think I bought some things during like Mother's Day last year and whatever. So I'm going to be doing some more haul updates to let you guys know my thoughts on the products and everything. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy haul updates and I love each and every one of you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and for supporting me and just kind of sticking with me here throughout this next year. We're just going to be going through lots of changes and I'm just, like I've said a hundred times, I'm just kind of going with the flow, trying to learn to just kind of sit back and chill. Not in my personality to do that, but just kind of go with the flow here on my channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I love you guys so much. So thank you so much for watching and I'll chat soon. Bye guys.